Hi, today I'm back with a video on um, a master camp tip. And today, yeah, uh, I'm gonna talk about how we can uh, find a, a center point of a sphere surface. It sounds uh, simple, but sometimes uh, you don't know how how to find it. So let's ta take a look on this part. Uh, very simple. You can see. Uh, I have some uh, sphere surface here on the park and uh, for example if you want to to use a bone emu to to create this uh, surface like uh, by trailing yeah trailing this with a, a bone emu so you don't uh, don't need to uh, to do a, a 3d uh, milling like in uh, soft material so that's more simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it but first let's take a look on this you can see these are the sphere surface when I go to the dynamic checking you can see this is a, a 12 millimeter diameter sphere and this one is a 8 millimeter sphere this one is also a sphere surface you can see and this one also an 8 millimeter diameter surface okay and see here when a sphere surface contact with a flat surface you can see the intersection curve here 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 they are circle yeah when a sphere, a sphere contact with a flat surface the intersection the intersection curve is a circle so you are very it's very simple to find the center of of this sphere so you can see when you choose to create a, a point on position and you you go you move the mouse to the the curve here is automatically uh, show you the center point yeah so it's very easy to create a center point of this sphere and this one also you can see when a sphere contact with a, a flat surface it create a, a circle boundary so it's very easy to to pick the center point yeah very simple right and this one also yeah it's very simple so when we look from the top we have two three center point so we can use it to to uh, uh, to use the trail trail circle but how about this one take a, a closer look on uh, this surface you can see the surface is, is not flat The surface is not flat, so when a, a sphere contact with this surface, is we create a a boundary or inter, an intersection curve does not circle. So when you create curve here, and you make an analyze analyzing, so you can see this uh, not a circle. This is a spline, so we cannot pick the center point here when you use move the mouse here. It cannot pick this the center point of of this sphere, so that's a trouble. And I'm gonna show you a, a simple way to, so we can find the center point of this sphere. Yeah, just some uh, simple, very simple. You go to the wireframe here, and on the line area here, you you have a, a few way to create a line. And you can see here we have the drop down we have one function that's called the line normal that will create a line normal to the surface as the contact point so we click on this and you can select the length of the line so uh, we shoot this input a value that's uh, greater than the, the radius of the sphere because we have a uh, 8 millimeter diameter so I can input around 5 or 6 or longer if you want maybe 6 okay 
and we click on the sphere surface here so you can see now we can uh, freely move the around to the position we want so you can put this at any location you want on the sur surface and we it will create a normal line that's perpendicular to the surface at the contact point here and you just need to create another one ping yeah you can see and we only need two light to uh, to find the center point of the sphere you can create more but it's not necessary so you can see yeah you can see all the lines they uh, intersect as one point and this point at the center of the sphere so this is uh, very simple right and we have found the center point of the sphere no calculation very very simple right and we can remove the line take a look from the top you can see this is the center point of the sphere we can do similar way with uh, uh, this this and this when you use this uh, method you can not find the, the true position of the center it's only in uh, x and y direction but when you do this method you can find exactly position of the center point okay you only need two two is enough Pew, pew. Okay, and we move to the next. Pew. Select the surface and click on the point. Another one. So we have one, two, and three. And so you can see very simple. We have found the center point of the sphere surface and now we can use it to drill okay very simple Bing. for example I will uh, drill with a a millimeter okay drill and we just select the point ping ping uh, ping okay and let's see if we, we found the uh, the right position okay I found a, a sphere okay a ball mill I select the a millimeter okay and because this is the center so we need to trio down a value uh, equal to the radius of the sphere so we input minus four okay just example you can see if we found it right so you can see it's on the right location see that another one yeah very simple right so I will do it again so you can see how it did okay go to the wireframe on the line area you can so uh, you can see the line normal function that we create light perpendicular to the surface at contact point click on this and click on the surface you want to create a line or around to the any point you want only two and we got two 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 okay and another one bing Pew. Pew. okay and the intersection point here here and here's they are the center point of the sphere surface so another trick for today I hope this can have you some days
Thanks for watching. Goodbye.